What's up you guys? Good evening and welcome back to another video. Now today we are actually going to be hopping in the old Tacoma here and going to pick up the fiance's new truck. But it's going to be kind of funny because I was scrolling through a marketplace last night and um, I come across this truck. Now it's a squatted truck and funny enough it's actually identical to my real life truck except it's squatted a lot. Now, my plan is to um, go get this for the fiance because she does want me to, uh, you know, go look around at trucks with her. She didn't necessarily say I had to buy her one. But, you know, I, I thought uh, it'd be a funny surprise for me to go out and buy her a squatted truck. Now, of course, we probably won't be keeping this truck and she's not really going to drive it around, I could imagine. But um, I'm just curious to see the uh, look on her face when I show up on Valentine's Day with this squatted you know, GMC Sierra. That's what the truck is. So let's go ahead and hop in here. And let the truck warm up just a little bit. Man, I absolutely love this truck, though. I've been really enjoying driving this thing around. Um, I need to get my other truck out of the shop. A few of you have been wondering where it's at. And, you know, it, it's just uh, undergoing some... Uh, a little bit of maintenance, you know, nothing major. Um, it did need to uh, have the oil change and things like that. So that's kind of what we're doing. Um, it recently had the, you know, new uh, bumpers put on. So yeah, I, I really haven't gotten to uh, drive the truck around much ever since that fire happened, you know, with the shop here. All right, now we are all hooked up to the truck, you guys. Now, um, like I said, we are headed out to get this squatted GMC Sierra. For those of you out there that uh, really like the squatted trucks, you know, you may like this um, and, you know, want to go try to find one yourself. Let me close the garage real quick. There we go. Man, the old Tacoma, though. The old Tacoma here is getting pretty dirty. Now, he actually lives, I think, down that road right there. But I do need to swing by my uncle's farm real quick. He just want me to make sure he turned off a uh, heat lamp or something in here. All right, I got all that taken care of. Now we are headed to go get that squatted GMC Sierra for the fiance. Let's see if we can get this backed around. You know, I've gotten a lot better at backing around my trailers. I have. I have. Now the fiance, um, yeah, different story. She's still learning a little bit, but you know, I think she'll figure it out. You know what? Is that some gas right there? I do need some gas. Wait, that's a diesel. Yep, that's that's not gonna help us any. I do need some gas. I'm a little worried about it. I probably should have went and got some gas before we did all this today. But you know what? I guess if we run out, we can just uh, call the fiance there and let her come pick us up, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little uh, worried. I might be better off walking home if you want to know the truth. All right, now, here we go, you guys. We're off, and we're headed. I know I've said it a million times, but we're going to pick up a squatted truck for the fiance. And, I'm, you guys, I'm going to try to be so serious, too. I'm going to be... You know, as serious as possible when I'm, like, giving her the truck. and be like, yeah, babe. What? You don't like it? And I'm going to, you know, just got to play along with it and really just kind of see what she says. It's going to be a really funny reaction. It, oh, my goodness. It, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be a mess. Let's see. Now, he lives up here on the right. Um, He said it's going to be a trailer, and you'll see the truck parked out front. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can see it right there. You guys see it up? You guys see it up there? There we go. Oh, my goodness. You guys, look how squat it is. Oh my goodness, and look how much it looks like my truck. Wow. Hey, if that truck wasn't actually squatted, hey, you guys, future build. Take that truck and make it where it isn't squatted. Lower the front just a little bit. Oh, we might have to do it. We might have to do it. Change the rims up a little bit. Who knows? But for, for now, this is going to be the fiance's truck. Look at it, and look how close it is to my real life truck. That's actually insane. All right, so I went ahead and lowered the trailer right there. Oh, they're hogging. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, that's Jim. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and let that down. Now, I'm going to walk up here, knock on his door and stuff. And, um, oh my gosh, guys, look at this truck. So it's a GMC all-terrain. So it's a lot like my real-life truck, but it is a little different. I like these rims on it. Okay. All right. I mean, it, it looks like the truck's been taken care of other than the fact it's uh, <laughs> got about an inch or two of uh, clearance with that tailpipe back there. Now, this is a um, diesel. This is a diesel truck. This is a Duramax. So, yeah, as you can see it right there, it's got the Duramax, it's got the tow mirrors. You no, know, it honestly doesn't look too bad. Um, but, you know, I don't know what the fiance's going to think about it. It's going to be, it's going to be funny. Let's go ahead and knock on this door and let him know we are here. All right, now he went ahead and gave me the keys. He's actually out back working on a shed and everything, so he's pretty busy. He's got a few people back there with him. Yeah, he's trying to get something set up for his dog and all. So, um, I think we're going to go ahead and load this on the trailer. It, it runs and drives. It um doesn't really need anything as far as I'm concerned. We're giving him 
Um, yeah, we're, we're giving him a, a little bit of money for it, you know. We're paying 8000 for it, which honestly, if you guys look at this body style truck and kind of what they go for, it's honestly really, really, really cheap. Um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's been taken care of really, really well. So the only thing really... I guess wrong with it you could you could say or, or not really to my liking is how much it's squatted but um we could bring this up some and you know just lower that down if we decide to keep this truck or you know we may sell it who knows but um i really do like this i, I really do like the body style of the truck and the rims i just yeah um as far as it's sitting uh with all the squat you know it, you know it's a little much okay so it, interior looks pretty good Let's see, we got the nice tow mirrors there that I don't really, I'm not really a fan of those, if you guys know that. Um, let's go ahead and crank this baby up. I'm just going to leave the Tacoma running. I know you guys are probably like, oh, he's left the truck running. But no, I'm just going to leave it running because it hasn't run in a while and it's cold out here. So I'm just going to let that, you know, run for a little bit because we're about to be back at the house anyway. All right, so I'm actually, I, I can't really see the ground up, up there. Um, she's got a, oh my goodness, you guys. How, how many times do you think she's going to wreck this truck? How many times do you think she's going to wreck it? You know what? I, I kind of want to go on a test drive with the truck, honestly. Make sure nothing's coming here. Here we go. Okay, I mean, it drives pretty good. It, it rides a little rough. Oh, yeah, that, that bump right there. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, here we go. We can test this drop off. So it rides a, a little, you know, rough, but it, it's not just unbearable. Let's see. I'm going to turn around this field. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but uh, I think I'll be all right. I'm not going to tell nobody if you guys don't. Let's see. Uh, oh my goodness, you guys, look, I'm struggling driving this truck right now. I honestly am. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, like, the driveway. Oh my goodness, this is tricky. Okay, we got out of there. Let's go. All right, now we are going to head back and put this thing on the trailer. Honestly, I mean, as far as drivability, isn't too bad. Um, he actually went with a pretty expensive lift on the front of this truck and just, uh, you know, didn't use the back stuff. But um, that's just because he wanted a squatted truck, you know. So, um, but as far as the front, it really doesn't ride that bad. Let's see. I'm going to try to pull this up here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a little tricky. I'm kind of nervous driving this on the trailer. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell where I'm at. Uh-oh, I think I just went over the end. Oh no. Um, yep. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, well, we, we actually didn't do too bad as far as lining it up. It's just I could not tell where everything dropped off. I'm going to try to lower the trailer down, though, and see if we can get it. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe it'll work. All right, there we go. We got the trailer lowered down. It kind of threw me off for a little bit. I was like, oh, it's still sitting up, but no, I forgot it squatted. All right. Then we're going to make that. I'm just going to turn the wheels to the right and be very careful, and hopefully we don't fall off the trailer here. All right, there we go. We got it on the trailer. Let's see. I'm going to get this baby strapped down. All right, we got her all strapped down, you guys. And um, I guess we're about ready to head towards the house. What do you guys think of the truck, though? Honestly, it's really not a bad-looking truck. Um, Like I said, I just don't like all the squat. We may change that up a little bit if we do decide to keep this. So that may be interesting. Maybe we'll stick around for that one, guys. All right, guys, we are headed out. Let's see. Kind of make sure nothing's coming both ways. Um, Like I said, we are headed out to the house. We're going to go get this thing set up somewhere. I got to hide it because the fiancé has no idea... That we're even, you know, bringing this truck to her. She just called me a few minutes ago and said she had to leave and go do something. So it worked out really good because, yeah, she's not going to be there. She's not going to have any clue that we're bringing a squatted GMC Sierra to her for Valentine's Day. She has no clue. Um, It's going to be like, it's, it, it's going to be, oh my goodness, it, it's going to be funny. It's going to be really funny. Now, I'm not sure if I've told you guys, but this truck here is a 2015 GMC Sierra. It's a Duramax, you know. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just been squatted. Let's see if we can make this turn right up here. Take it easy. That way we don't lose the truck or anything. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. The uh, old Tacoma here, man, it, it hauls stuff like it's nothing. The Tacoma is, is, is an amazing truck. This little thing can haul so much more um, its weight in vehicles. It, it's insane. All right, you guys, where do I want to hide this? You know, a place she's never going to go would be around the back of the shop right here. But she may be kind of, you know, she may go to the shop. Who knows? Let's see. I'm going to just leave this thing. Should I leave it on the trailer? You know what? Yeah, we'll just leave it all on the trailer and everything. All right, so there it is. We got the uh, squatted truck here for the fiance. 
Um, I'm gonna grab the keys out of it, and, you know, take those in and hide them so she doesn't get any ideas that we have a truck sitting out here for. But anyway, you guys, here is the Valentine's Day present or surprise for my fiance. It's a squatted GMC Sierra. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a funny, funny prank. It is. Man, look at that thing. All right, now I'm gonna just pull up over here by the pressure washer because we do need to wash off the old Tacoma. It, it's time, you guys. It's, uh, look how dirty the side of the truck is there. Let's see, I'm gonna pull up about right here. I'm gonna do some, uh, vacuuming, get the inside cleaned out because it's a little dirty, you know, from stepping in and out, and then just, you know, finish washing the outside. All right, I think that's the first time the Tacoma's been, you know, turned off the whole entire video. Here we go, get a little spray on there. That, wait, it's cutting out a little bit. Why is it? Hang on. What are you doing here? All right, there we go. I got it fixed now, I think. Yeah, all right. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to just wash this old baby off here. I may move the pressure washer around back in a little bit and spray off the other truck. It wasn't too dirty, but, you know, just give a little wash. And I always like to do that to the new vehicles that come here to the house. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you did enjoy this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys for, you know, showing the love on the videos, liking, and subscribing. It really means a lot to your boy here, and um, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. We're uh, going to be giving her the truck in the next video, so be sure to watch that and kind of see her, um, you know, reaction to this whole squatted truck for Valentine's Day. It's going to be, it's going to be epic. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.